Hi, welcome to Siemens NX12 video tutorial, the next part of the WW109 fighter plane series. Today I want to do the propeller. Therefore, I want to create another feature group which will be called propeller. But let's start with a sketch on, of course, the main sketch plane, which should be right here and confirm. Let's zoom in a little bit. And I want to start with a revolve. This should be a revolve right here. Okay. I will need some sort of point and an axis. So let's go for a point. Set it right here, maybe just there. Let's go for a line. It should be horizontal. And now I want to use a spline. And I will need another construction line to make sure it's, of course, tangent to that line. Now let's go for the spline. And OK. Should start here at this point, And I want it to be G1. But to this one, let's see where it went. Yeah, that's OK. Maybe like, let's go up to this point here. Don't snap. Maybe like this. That would be OK. And confirm. Finish that sketch. And let's make a revolve. Let's go for single curve, yes, that would be the single curve. And the vector would be this, uh, no, not that point, but that line here. And I want to go, of course, for 360 degrees. And, of course, it's a sheet. And confirm. Let's put those two features into a new feature group, which I will call Propeller. And confirm. Now the next step would be to model such an air blade. Therefore I will use profile like this, maybe scale it a little bit down and then go for a swept. Okay, I want to use that profile, so let's go to the sketch, select those elements, Control C for copy, finish that sketch, make a new sketch on the main sketch plane, so go for a sketch, Main sketch plane, confirm, and just paste it there, control V, and confirm. Let's scale it, and I want to do dynamic, and I want it to be about that size from this point to that point, so let's scale it really down, maybe like this and confirm. Now the length of one of those plates would be about the size here. So I could draw a line just to take a look how long it should be. That would be about, let's take a look, up to the center. And that length would be about, let's take a look, that's about 148, so it's 1500, about that, okay? Let's, no, not like this, just go here and delete it. Okay. 
let's finish that sketch and I will need a line I could go for a bounded plane would that help so I could go for a plane a line which is normal to that plane yes let's see let's go for a bounded plane surface more there you go let's go for connected curves yes and confirm so the complete plate would be about 1500 and I want to do it in two steps so let's go for 750 about 750 yeah now I need a line which is normal right here maybe in one point that should be maybe here so let's see I could go for the midpoint yeah I want to have a line and it should be some sort of point and it should be some sort of midpoint if possible let's take a look is there a midpoint in third point existing endpoint control intersection not really a midpoint that's sad so go for existing point and no it's not possible how to get that point here that's not an idea so just set a point on that line here point on curve edge that's the one because I could go for 50 that's an idea so let's select this one and go for 50 percent uh, maybe that's no good so let's go for 40 percent yeah that might do and confirm now that line should be starting right there and it should be sort of going along the XC direction yeah and the length might be around about 750 and confirm now let's hide that image and I want to use a swept so go for surface go for swept so the sections should be those curves here and it doesn't go around seems it's not tangent oh no sorry that's that's activated therefore it didn't go all around now it's going all around and the guide would be this one and I want it to be a sheet and the sections at the end of the guides yes the alignment should be arc length yes but the orientation I want it to be an angular law and I could go for a linear and let's make him from 0 to 10 degrees and I want to scale it as well let's go for a blending function and make it from not linear but go let's go for cubic so let's take a look how this would look like yeah I think I will have to change it a little bit yeah that's not okay so I want to go for 0 0.6 yeah that's better 
And what else do we need? Yeah, I think that's okay. And confirm. So where did it go? It's right there. And maybe, just maybe, that's too big, but you could scale it down. So it has some sort of twist and it's scaled along that path. Please note that might not be a really working air blade for a propeller, but it looks decent enough. So I want to do the same to the other side. So I could, of course, try to mirror it, but that would be wrong. So I need another curve through that point, but in the other direction and same length. So let's go for another curve, another line should start here at that point and go in the XC direction, but it should be turned around. So that would mean I could go for minus 750. That should do the trick and confirm. Now let's do the same swept in the other direction. So go for surface, go for swept. Now select the connected curves. The guide would be this one. And it should go the other way around. Let's take a look how this will Oh, I think that should be okay. Yeah, maybe I should scale that a little bit down. Let's confirm this same values and let's take a look how this really looks like. And maybe just maybe hide so this should be not a solid, but a surface. So this should be a sheet and confirm. Okay, so maybe let's hide those surfaces here. This one. Or just hide the complete group. Now let's hide that surface and hide those as well. That would be the feature group there. I could hide the feature group, this one. So it's easier to move and turn. Now I want to close this surface here somehow. Therefore I will need a plane, which is at the same angle at this one and that would be 10 degrees difference. So let's do it like this. Let's go for a plane which mm, is at an angle and the planet different reference would be this one or the main sketch plane. And the angle would be 90 degrees. And the linear object would be that line here in that sketch. And confirm. Now I want to rotate sort of another datum plane at an angle, yes. The axis would be now this line here. The angle 10 or minus 10 degrees and the planar object would be that one here. So this should be the other way around. So I could go for 10 degrees. And confirm. 
Yeah. Let's do a sketch right on this plane. Maybe hide that one here. And let's go for a sketch on that plane. This plane here and confirm. Let's see. Can I zoom in? Is that okay or is it not okay? Because yet yeah, looks okay. So I need the intersection curve with that surface here. So let's take a look. Go for intersection curve with this face that should give me two curves one here one there so if I switch I will get the different solutions that's the first one apply and the second one would be on the other side okay yeah those two curves should be for construction only. Construction. Construction. And now I need a spline which is tangent to those two curves. So let's start with a spline. Go there to this end point here. G1. And then Go for here maybe four points and then end here and go again for G1. Now you can edit this a little bit if you want. Maybe like this and confirm. And now I want to go for through curves. But therefore I might need to split that surface. Or can I select that curve and use that point as stop point? We will see. Let's finish this one. And let's try to make a through curve. So can I stop there? Let's see. I think it will select the complete curve. Not tangent. If I go for a single curve, that would be not enough. Let's go for connected curves and let's take a look. Yeah, that works because it stops here and there. That's great. And it should be tangent to that surface here, of course. And the second set of curves would be this one. And the third set of curves would be down below of this one. Looks okay. And if I select that face, yeah. Single normal solid, yet okay. Not a solid, but a sheet. And confirm. So I got a decent. And for that surface here. Now let's sew those together. So go for surface, go for sew this surface, that surface, and this one. And confirm. And now I need to move this to the correct place in my model. So maybe let's bring back our picture and maybe move those elements into that feature group. So all these should go into that feature group here. Nice. And bring back that image. So go for and show the rest of the image. And that air blade should be moved over here and it should be turned around as well. So let's go for move menu. 
edit move object and I want to move the original and I want to go at first for dynamic and this should be let's take a look from this side it should be turned 90 degrees in that direction and in that direction as well so let's move it with that grip no sorry with let's move here with this grip minus 90 degrees and it should be of course that object here okay let's apply now let's turn it in this direction so the small edge well, it's hard to see where is my small edge it's here so that should be to one side of course so let's turn it around 90 degrees in that direction take this knob here select the object this object and I want to turn it around by 90 degrees in this direction or minus 90 that doesn't really matter like that again apply and now I have to move it up there so let's take this handle here move it up and again select the object and then move it in that direction and a little bit up so maybe like this and let's confirm this and take a look how this looks like yeah that's okay but it should be yeah it's it should be turned a little bit more in this direction as well that's possible that's not a problem so let's go for another move select it and now I want to turn it a little bit just a little bit in that direction so it's not really the correct air blade but it looks good so it's just a mock-up let's take a look there yeah that should do now I can go for a pattern a circular pattern and make three instances of this one so go for home more or first maybe you should trim it yeah you should trim it of course so let's go for surface go for a trim sheet and I want to keep this part here and I want to use that as boundary and confirm and now I can rotate this one by using a geometry pattern let's go for circular I want to pattern this one the vector would be that line here and I want to go for 3 and 360 degrees this looks okay so let's confirm so that gives me some sort of nice propeller and again please note this might be not a functioning propeller now let's trim here I have to trim trim sheet this one with that one here like this okay and apply and then I have to 
trim this one with that one here. Sorry, go there, select, apply, and then trim this one with that blade here as well, and confirm. And now I should be able to sew those together. So go for sew. So if this is target, use that one, use this one, and that one, and confirm. Great. Nice. That gave me gave me some sort of nice looking propeller, even if it would not work in reality. So this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cafe page. Would be very nice of you. And of course, you should move all those features into the propeller feature group. I almost forgot that. So move here. Put it onto this one that it should reorder. And now I'm really done. So thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.